Hello everyone, we are here yet again with another new episode of Jurassic Park, episode 3, The Depths. This guy says, let's go! And so I say, let's follow. Maybe? Here we go. I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people. I think they blew up. I think they blew up. I think they blew up. We're lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. And I think we're gonna fall into Eden. God, they're trying to bring the tower down. It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. So we should jump down the other side. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. It looks like that we have to close our garage, which is never a good idea when you have a limited time. All right, let's go down here. Well. That should free it up. All right. I need this thing to shake though, where can we go? We need to get them to get their bumping and then shaking going on so we can, what is this, what is going on here? Need them to move the freaking thing. What's over here? That wire is live. Oh, that's good. Thanks for the knowledge. Stop it. All right, let's just go down. I don't know why they're giving us the option to move. It doesn't really seem like there's much going on unless you want to shock them, throw the wire down there. I don't think that's gonna work though. All right, let's just get out of here, guys. There we go. <laughs> Won't budge. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. All right, sounds good. Sweetheart, listen, I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. Sorkin. I'll be right down. What is she gonna do? That's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it. Must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Let's use her arm. We'll rip it off and then we'll just bang on the freaking ladder. Sorkin, you don't need two arms. You're a scientist. You can just do everything with one hand, right? And yell at people with one hand. That's all you've been doing. You made Jess climb up here. You made us do this. La 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 la. All right, let's go back to the top, apparently. I'm kidding. I know scientists need two arms, but she's been kind of grouchy lately. Kind of a pain in the neck. All right. So we've got the live wire. I don't know what that does for us, but... This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Okay. Uh oh. We have to get down from here. Okay, but it's freaking. Doctor Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power to those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Fair enough, do it. Do it, Sorkin. Click your buttons like you're good at. Bam. 
I was okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. Good job. Let's go back to this guy. Now you gotta go grab it. Ah, we missed. And now you're gonna get zapped. You probably turn into. Oh, 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 oh. Gun a little. That hurt. Well, don't back up. Stand. Don't back up. Stand. Stay. Stay. Oh my God. They have to time it just right. Okay, it would be way easier if you just stood there. Doink. You guys remember Doink from one of the early WrestleMania games on Super Nintendo? There we go. Got it. Wow, 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 let's go. Pry that ladder open, let's go. Do it. Do it, to it. Come on. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never going to be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Oh yeah, she's strong. Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Teamwork. Teamwork, gentlemen. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Push, pry, Paul. You're just not doing it, Sorkin. You're failing us all. Come on, girl. Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. The Raptors hey, would do a better do? job than you. Try again. On three. Ready? One, two. Three! No, Jess, wait! No! <laughs> oh god, we just threw the girl down. I'm fine, Dad! Just jump, everybody. Yeah, there we go. Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. Okay, thank you for the update. <laughs> the Raptors, I want to just play with them. Coming. Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it! Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I wanted her to fall. Darn it. Thanks. No. Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. I think you should probably run. Yeah, These guys are sword. fast. Don't look at them. On, Move. Right Move, you. you goofy, goofy girl. I don't know how they possibly outrun these raptors, but okay. Um, do That's something. The door. Yeah, jeez. What a dummy. To the tunnels. Mission one complete. Jump, Billy! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> Weird. These guys are creeping. Strange, but at least they're alive. Or maybe not at least they're alive. Would have been kind of strange to just evaporate all of them. Be like, hey, there goes that plot line, but I would have liked it. What's the plan, Oscar? So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. Make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it. I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook off was a hell of a show. What you looking for? What you looking for? What you looking for? Gonna take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Yeah, I think your chopper is done for, sir, Mr. Better Yoder. keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. Yeah, so just leave. What are you doing? Go. What are you do? What are you doing? <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. No, you should move. What is the deal? Why does it matter if we stand near this? Damn it! All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Okay. Should be safe to make camp here. Alright, we'll use the fire as our light to protect from the dinos. Looks like, is that Woody Woodpecker? Who is that? Doesn't that look, look at that. <laughs> what is this picture? Alright, back to the knocked out KO girl. I should see girl. if the girl's okay. No, we shouldn't. She's been a jerk the whole time. Throw her in the fire. Don't get don't get attached to this girl, dude. It's not worth it. Wow, 
Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. I wonder. Let's see what's inside here. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> the lady has a secret stash. But what the hell is it? Dinosaurs! Mini dinos. Baby dinos. Unborn dinos. Oh yeah, this guy wants some of them. This goofy giant T-Rex that's coming for us. He wants to create his own army of dinos. T-Rex. It's leaving. Oh, it's leaving. Okay, good. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. Gross, gross, the chopper's gross. not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Sounds good. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? Ah, uh, we eat it. Are we gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. Ooh, you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Ha <laughs> you're such a goofy guy. Dios mío, they open doors. Oh yeah, I'm dinos opening doors. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't look at me. Should have stayed in bed. They're going inside the building. Because they're crazy. Don't hear me. Don't hear my footsteps. I don't want to trip. You can't hear it. Pick up the stick. Or step over it. Either way, it's cool. That thing is bleeding. Oh, dear God. The Velociraptor is feeding. Oh, dear God. Don't press those buttons. They'll make noise. But what is that? Okay, what is this? Let's press them anyway. Uh-oh. Raptor. Can we freaking lock the door? Apparently not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. In that case, we could walk up the stairs. Boink, 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 boink. Ah! Chum, 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 chum. Getting my freaking WASD keys on here. Bam. Woo, gold medal. That was the shortest chapter ever. Ah, here goes Buffalo Bill chasing the Velociraptors into the building in a closed space. Are we going to stand here all day? You're right, huh? We should get moving. Let me in. Locked. Smart. In that case, we follow the raptors. Probably not a good idea, but this guy doesn't look like he's... He's a very good idea kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, a tiny dino, yes! I feel real. Oh, 
left me alone. Idiotas. Where'd Billy go? I don't want to be this crazy girl. She's insane. Looks like I was only out for a little while. The embryos should be okay for now. Give me those embryos. So far approaching. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Wow. See, told you she was a complete jerk. Where's Billy at? Billy, 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 where you at, dude? Anything else in this scene? Except her and the ground, her pack. Where's the cane? Nieta, no, no, no! I wouldn't yell like that. Looking for this? That's mine! <sighs> you know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask InGen? Ah, la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Mic up something. And let's just tell. We, we want this guy to find out. Even though I don't like either of them, I like her least. Embryos! Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. I knew you were up to something, but this, this, is pretty clever, I gotta admit. InGen's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. Ah, da, 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 da. Is Shelly dead? Let's see what this leads to. Please! I don't expect you to trust me. But the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. Haha, <laughs> you're a dumb dumb. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. <sighs> Are you for real? Okay, keep talking. It's working. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. You turn that over to Injin. You get a pat on the back, maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos, and as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. Wow, what a creepazoid. Creepasaur. Scary sore. Dumbasaur. Get out of here, Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Did we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. Want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Yeah, no more freaking lysine in the water, buddy. How are we going the right way? Your radio show. Why aren't you chief? Laura, Sorkin, Sorkin, Jess. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Or because they just want the maintenance people to crawl through tiny shafts like Isaac in Dead Space. <laughs> are we going through your radio, what? So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. 
Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. And the dinosaurs Did you guys hear are that? here. Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Yep, the Velociraptors are the trap. Today. Today, today. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. And the last option. Well, as long as we're getting to know one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. Why is everyone I didn't realize smoking? you smoked. Normally I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. Or maybe you stole them, little girl. Haha, <laughs> you cheating goofball. Why is everyone smoking? Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. Uh, break time. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Sounds like a good friend is back. And again, maybe you have a point. His name come is not on, Oscar. Run. His no name time. is T-Rex. Run, little girl. Or crazy girl, or whoever you are. All these girls getting me confused. We have old grandma girl, we have little smoker girl, we have evil, creepy girl, we have T-Rex chasing. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Don't move! It can't see you unless you move! Oh god. Oh jeez. That's a huge bug. Oh my god. Get off my face. I'd be freaking out right now. Off my face, you stupid. Boy! There we go. Save yourself, Billy. Easy, girl. T-Rex eat. Oh yeah, throw some metal out. Good idea. Ow. Uh, damn it! Leaving now. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yes, evil dino looking through the window. <laughs> Care Dylan. for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. 
I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... What? You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! 120 miles of ocean won't do? Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. What if they can swim? What about the pterodons? Tell me this. Did you reverse the lysine contingency with the pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. This is about the world, and dinosaurs invading cities. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. Uh, it's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. 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 All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water, through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever. 20 days ago, would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No. I suppose not. <laughs> The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. Okay. This is crazy. It's a kill switch. The Lysine contingency was intended to be the last resort. InGen hasn't even tried to fix this. No matter the circumstance, you can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species, let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. This is just getting very heated right now. Look at his face. He's grumpier than a freaking snail. Even if every dinosaur on the island were to die, Site B is still active. We could clone them again. What you did was reckless. I'm sorry, Jerry, but that's naive. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to clone even one dinosaur? The board won't let Hammond throw money at a pipe dream. Well, normally I'd agree with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species. But surely you recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. And this is better this I way. I appreciate that you're just finding out about this now, Jerry. But I've thought this through. The consequences of allowing the animals to live out their natural lives pale before the crime of euthanizing them out of convenience. I cannot believe that you're so blasé about something so potentially catastrophic. Could it cause problems for humanity? Sure. But that was the chance we took when we brought them back to life. Never mind the human toll. We could be talking about mass extinctions if these dinosaurs find their way to Central America. I don't think there's any point in discussing this further. Let's just agree to disagree, shall we? Fine, but I'm gonna have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Angry smoking time, girl. Scene switch. No, 
No good. Here it comes. Go! We're on the move again. And that was the shortest scene ever. Gold it's medal gaming. time. Or maybe we just still have to get a gold medal, apparently. It up. I thought that was the end of the gold the medal. Gate. I was like, what? She's him! Oh god. Just duck, T-Rex. You can do it. Go eat her. She's crazy. Oh god. Raptor versus T-Rex. Oh jeez. Oh yeah! Boom! That's what I wanted to see. That's a delicious, delicious, delicious scene. Let's try it again. Good duck. Uh oh. Come on. Nice tasty dinosaur. Stay still. Oh yeah, chase the raptor. Chase the little jumper. Come on, T-Rex, you can get him. Oh, that's gross. Slowly, slowly get out of here. Do these things ever stop eating? Oh god, it's coming for me. Not good. Jump! Ah! Move! Great, now we're gonna follow the other raptors into their little tiny tunnels. This is not good. Whoa! Ninja Gaian! Come on, come on! How about closing the door? There we go. Nice moves out there. Like a ballet dancer or something. Ooh. Uh, thanks. Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh, I, um... Dropped them. You lost it? It must have fallen out. Dun, dun, dun. Now they have to go back outside. Doing our solid snake mission here, creep. I love their little arms, the way they like lift their head like, what? That's right, go. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky time. Locked, good. If I can't open it, they can't either. Okay, but you have to get out of here, dude, otherwise you're gonna get eaten. There's the place to hide. Oh god. Damn. He's been murdered. Let's try that again. Look over here. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. Okay, well then hide by the boxes, buddy. Now there's the place to hide. Here comes little raptor sore. Press those buttons, come on. I score. I'm the ladder. They can't climb. At least not Here ladders. They come. Good, good work, Oscar. We're stuck in the stalkers. Oh no. Lousy piece of crap. Idiota! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! Hold your horses. That T Rex is still out there. Of course, he puts it right by the canister. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. Exactly. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. 
The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry! Oh dear, dear me, this is scarier than spiders.